Okay, so I'm just like, I don't know if I made a video about my hair or something like that. So anyway, I want to talk to you about like hair growth um, and how to grow long hair. So I don't know if I show y'all a video of my hair being incredibly short to a point where it was bald. I don't know if I did that, but it was like that um, about three months ago. <sighs> three months ago, it was like really, it was completely bald right here, right? So now look at it. That's three months of hair growth. That's a lot. That is a lot. Um, let me tell y'all. How did I do it? First and foremost, always make sure that your hair is moisturized, right? Get a spray bottle, put some water up in there, spray your hair about two and three times a day, right? I know this for black hair. I don't know this for any other hair, but black hair two and three times a day. It needs it really bad and do it right before um you go out to work or something like that or go outside or something like that or do it throughout the day don't do it when you're about to go to sleep and i say this don't do it when you're about to go to sleep because it's bad to sleep with wet hair <clears throat> you don't want to sleep with wet hair you get a um sore throat or something like that you don't want to do that so um what else to do is make sure you have your iron levels checked like go to the doctor make sure your iron levels are checked or whatever you need Make sure to take enough iron pills as directed by your doctor just to get your iron levels back up. Uh, some people, what they like to do is they like to take iron even when they don't need it. Don't take iron when you don't need it because you might get iron poisoning. What is it? You know, when you take too many pills that you don't need to take and then next thing you know you get sick. Some people are doing that even when they don't need to do it. Don't do that. Your body, if your body don't need it, your body don't need it. Another thing. Make sure that you, you can put on a bonnet. It hasn't really been that much important to me because my hair has actually been kind of short. But um, well, you can put on a bonnet before you go to bed to stop the snapping and the breaking and all that stuff, right? Um, my hair is getting to a point where it's almost reaching medium length, like it's almost reaching down here. I mean, well, some of the hair is reaching down there. Look at that, look. Some of it is reaching down there. But make sure... That, I mean, you get a bonnet. If, your hair, if you're trying to grow your hair long, get a bonnet because that's going to, your hair going to break off. Snap all over your pillow and you don't, you know, you don't want that. That would be a pain in the butt, really. A lot of people get satin pillows too to help themselves out or sateen or whatever, you know, cheapo and stuff. But it's smooth pillow cases. Um, <clears throat> oh, this is another one. Important. Very, very, very important. But for some reason... Ever since I did the inversion method, my hair has been growing like weed, um, like a weed. Um, so it's like do the inversion method because ever since I did the inversion method, it's just been growing and growing and growing. How do I go from like absolutely not having no hair to all the way up here within like three months? That is too fast. That's very fast. I don't even know if something happens to my body, if it adjusts or something like that. But do the inversion method. Um... <clears throat> And basically put blood blood for blood flow more to your uh was it your scalp and all that stuff and cause it to grow fast so yeah only do it if you can do it if you you know if you're kind of sick person you can't stand being upside down then probably not you know a good thing for you to do so <clears throat> i looked at the video that video is from long and healthy online you can look at the video right long and healthy to youtuber she will tell you um, and that's it, y'all. I gotta go to sleep. I'm getting tired. Bye.